enjoy the Tomb Raider temple. Maybe we find some treasure. Or maybe Angelina Jolie. Next temple on the list, Prigorup Temple, which is good. Is they got those signs to tell you what temple you're in. So wow, 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 wow! The view from here is amazing. Let's see. This is kind of breathtaking. Imagine when it was like all in one piece, so amazing. So next on our checklist, Tapram Temple, which is famously known for being in the Tomb Raider movie, or also known as the Angelina Jolie Temple. From the number of people coming in and out, you can tell this is one of the most famous around here. Let's check if it's worth it and if it's worth its reputation. Um, the entrance is pretty nice with those Buddha head and now let's check out the rest. Like I was saying before, this one is a little more crowded, but um, I managed to get away from the crowd and find a way to enjoy it a little more by myself and it's pretty nice I think looks like you can walk around get a good look so um, quick note we're not, I'm not supposed to shoot with my GoPro here even though I changed and I'm not shooting wide wide I don't know why but most of the temples here are it is forbidden to shoot on with like Instacam or on 360 or 180 degrees camera don't worry, so far nobody said me anything about the GoPro. Okay, come with me and let's enjoy the Tomb Raider temple. spot from the Tomb Raider movie. So. so next on the list, um, this is actually the last one on the on the small loop that I didn't get a chance to finish yesterday. This temple is much smaller, but let's get to it. You can see mostly columns holding. You can see some carvings still here.
once again, I can say this is really nice. I mean, some will say yeah, it's only a bunch of stones and burning. And again, it's not that much about the the destination. It's about the journey. It's walking around here and in the peaceful, quiet environment, just coming after Phnom Penh. That's relaxing and actually pretty nice. So let's enjoy it. This is my friend, last temple of the day. It's been a pretty, pretty full day, just like yesterday. If uh, I have one or two advice, for sure you need at least three days here before one thing I have to say though is like I think the small tour takes more time which is kind of strange but um, because we did like the big loop this morning in I think four hours three four hours I'm back at the elephant terrace which if you remember I couldn't really finished the first day because it was starting to rain and now I'm here back at the terrace thinking yeah today it's the day and guess what yes this is cloudy <laughs> and I just heard thunder <laughs> so any moment soon it's gonna rain so I guess I'm gonna hurry up well that looks nice Let's see what we gotta see left. We're here. He has finally happened. And hopefully I was thinking I can make it to the Takyo temple. But Now we don't have to wait and, and see. Hey guys, so I guess that's it for our second day in the magnificent temples of Hong Kong. Feel free to comment down below, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Until then, take care. And remember to just go with the flow. Bye bye.